that feeling of accomplishment. This is the best drugs in the world. Okay, boys, today we're going to talk about discipline. And again, what that channel is all about is about happiness. And what you need to be happy, I repeat it again. Number one, you need to be healthy in there. You need to be healthy in there. Number two, your body. You need to take care of that thing, boys. You need to be healthy physically. And number three, you need money. And I repeat again, the number one thing that most of you guys struggle is what's going on inside of your head. So today, about discipline. I'm going to give you an example about discipline. Uh, about five, six years ago, I was working like, like crazy. I was working on an average of 64, 65 hours a week. And we have a, we have a weird schedule and what I work. I work 12 hours a day. And we have like, we work four days, five days off. After that, we got, uh, we work five days, four days off. So during that time, I have an opportunity to make a lot of overtime and make a lot of money. And that's what I said to you boys. In this life, you got a window, a window of opportunity in life. It's there. And when it's there, jump on it and take full advantage of it. So me, I know I'm doing a lot of time. I'm going to make money. And in the future, that thing's going to benefit me. So I was working like crazy. And during that, this, that time, I bought a house. And that house was a fixer hopper. And the whole house was falling apart. I got a hole in the wall. You're going in the house, you got that smell. That smell because the carpet was freaking dirty. I came here after work. I'm sitting in that house and I'm not happy about that house. I'm not happy about that house. I need to do something about that house. But now I'm working 65 hours a week. Now my mind is like, fuck, I'm working 65 hours a week. I got too much on my plate. And now I start to build all kinds of excuses in my mind to not fixing that house. And all of a sudden, I realized that. I realized that. Boys, your mind always going to bring, try to bring you towards laziness. Always going to try to build some excuse to bring you into the comfort zone. So you know what? I said, F it. F it. I'm going to switch that around in my mind. So I start to think about it. What can I do, despite that I'm working like crazy, to turn that situation again to my advantage? So I think about it. And that thing was going on in my mind. I got too much in my plate. Blah, blah. I take that, I throw it in the garbage, and I said, okay, what can I do? So I start to think about it. My strategy was, I'm going to come here after work, and I'm going to work on this freaking house for one hour. One hour. And again, boys, I'm working 12 hours a day. I need to get ready for work. I need to come back from work. So on average, I'm gone maybe 13 and a half to 14 hours a day. In a day, you got 24 hours. You need to sleep. And now after work, you're tired. You're exhausted. You don't want to work one hour. You see your brain? bring you again towards laziness. So I came here and I get shit done, boys. And the state of mind that I have when I was working at one hour is I'm not going to put any goal. I'm not going to come here, okay, during that hour, I need to reach that goal. And you don't reach that goal. You're mad. You're pissed off. You're disappointed. I put my mind is I'm going to come here. I'm going to work one hour. What I get done, I get it done. I'm not going to put any goal. I want to enjoy that ride of working one hour. I want to enjoy the ride. So again, it's all about what's going on inside of your head, boys. And you know what? I did that for about a year and a half. 
a year and a half of working one hour every night after work. And look how much you get accomplished by, by doing this. I do that between five, six days a week. You know what I mean? One hour every, uh, every night. That means five to six hours a week. That means between 25 and 30 hours a month. You see that little one hour? That thing add up, add up, add up. And you have no idea, boys, how much I get done. How much I get done with that little one hour. How much I get done by having that state of mind. Something that was working that one hour. And thing was going so good. I just want to keep going. But now what happened? What happened if I keep going? I work two hours, three hours at night. I go to bed at midnight. I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. If I work at two, three hours, I go to bed late. I get up in the morning. I'm freaking tired. I'm freaking exhausted. I do my shift. I come back at night. I, I came back after work. I'm burned out. I'm tired. I don't want to do it. I know, again, it's all about what's going on in your head. I know if I work too much, that's not going to be good for me. So despite when I was working that one hour, thing was going super good. I want to keep going more. I said, no, discipline, boys. It's all about what's going on in your head. You need to think about all that. You need to have the right state of mind. That feeling of accomplishment. This is the best drugs in the world. It's better than Coke. It's better than... No, I'm not going to put sex in there. But it's better than pot. It's better than hash. It's better than every freaking drug that you could, could think about. It's better than alcohol. That feeling of accomplishment, when you taste that, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to chase. Chase that feeling of accomplishment. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that working like, like crazy and burn out yourself and you're going you're gonna to feel like shit because you, you burn out. It's not what I'm saying. It's not what I'm talking about. Always chase that feeling of accomplishment. Me, when I get it, that thing done, and every, every night when I was sitting and I would, I would, I would, and I take a look of the work that I done, man, I was feeling so freaking good. You know why? Because I was going forward. I wasn't going backward in that freaking house, despite of working like crazy. So, boys, I'm going to leave it at that. Think about what I just said. Have the right state of mind. Happiness, that number one thing, boys, you need to be healthy in there. You need to be healthy in that. Have the right state of mind. So, boys, like the video. Share it, subscribe to my channel, and if you think that video could help somebody, send that video to him. Send that video to him. That channel is to help the boys. The boys are there. So, thanks for watching, boys, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.